in the Republican Party, there is this very interesting schism that has emerged between the Donald Trump wing of the Republican Party, which I, I, I would call, frankly, the Koch brothers wing of the Republican Party, the Americans for Prosperity wing of the Republican Party, the Tea Party wing of the Republican Party, because they're really all this kind of the same thing in my mind. And on the one hand, and the, the Wall Street wing of the Republican Party, I mean, John Kasich used to be a banker with Lehman Brothers. You know, it's, 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 the. You know, won't that be interesting if he's the nominee and Bernie's the nominee, you'd have Bernie Sanders running against a Lehman Brothers banker. Whew. But in any case, in the Republican party, you got the schism between the, the, uh, you know, we're rational, even though our policies are somewhat irrational, uh, but you know, we're Reagan rational, uh, wing versus the the plain old flat out bat guano crazies which would be you know donald trump principally and arguably carly fiorina but i think that after last night i think carly is gone i think rubio is going to have you know i i it's he's going to end up a, a lobbyist i mean he's he i'm pretty sure he had to give give up his senate seat didn't he in florida you can't i think it's just like kentucky you can't run for two jobs at once and uh, so, uh, you know, that's that's yeah, his seat is open. I mean, that that, uh, as I recall, Alan Grayson is running for it. And so. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure that Alan Grayson is running in the primary to 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 take Marco Rubio's seat. So, uh, you know, it's just this interesting battle in the Republican Party. And then in the Democratic Party, you've got Bernie Sanders, who is not a radical and a revolutionary, even though he's calling for a revolution. Um, he's, he's really, you know, his, many of his policies, the vast majority of his policies are basically uh, Dwight Eisenhower's policies, John Kennedy's policies, Franklin Roosevelt and Harry Truman's policies. They're the policies of, of, of liberals in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s that built you know the, the 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 largest and most powerful and most successful middle class the world had ever seen and then you know we turned our back on those policies with the reagan administration and actually started cutting those programs all all the way down to the roots and phew, look at what it's done to america it's incredible to watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.